Well, this feels like it's been a little bit of time before uh, or since I've done one of these. So I wanted to say thank you to everyone that has uh, supported me on Patreon. Thank you so much for that. Uh, there are some secret videos just for my Patreon members. Uh, but this layout, this was something that the ML Kings, we had gone out and had to practice just to kind of get all back together again. Um, and it wasn't everyone, but... The layout that we played on was Tim Montressor's layout. Uh, so if you guys don't know, Tim Montressor has played pro for a number of years uh, and ended up passing away uh, very suddenly. Um, so a lot of leagues are actually using his layout as kind of like a in remembrance. And, and the thing with Tim is if you didn't know him, uh, I, I wouldn't say that I was friends with him. Uh, we knew each other, um, but I can't think of one negative interaction with him. So... Um, uh, thoughts and prayers go out to his family. Um, I mean, the the family of paintball uh, lost a, a really great person. Uh, you wouldn't want to be on the other side of the field because uh, he was definitely a competitor. Uh, he'd be going for your throat, but he was someone that just loved the game. And uh, yeah, so be safe out there, everyone. Uh, but yeah, so this will help out with those that are playing any sort of tournaments that have Tim Montressor's layout up um, and then that way you'll be able to use uh, some of my mistakes so this is the second time that I've played on this layout um, and I do usually play the center for the Kings uh, so it's center and Dorito side I did get over to the snake side but I can still help out my snake players just even from the center of the field uh, so that way you can know what it is that you need to watch out for and uh, some shots maybe that I was worried about that you can take advantage of so um, let's go ahead and jump right into this first point but before we do that I I did want to mention this video is sponsored by PunishersPB.com. So go over to Punishers PB and you can go and get all their great deals. They pretty much carry every single thing that I use. So be sure to go over there. Uh, Punishers has been great so far. Uh, so I'm looking forward to the future to see what it is that we can do next. But let's jump into this first point. So this was uh, actually one of the last points that we had done. Um, I didn't have a whole lot of paint on this one. Or no, actually, I think this one I had uh, about five pods, which really isn't enough of, of what you want to do. Um, getting out to the snake corner, it is going to be a little bit tough. You need to make sure that you're watching out for that center shot. Um, they do have a good shot going out there. I, I got out here completely clean while the, this first point, uh, but I am going to show you one later where I definitely got bounce going out, and uh, it's just something you're going to want to uh, keep an eye out for. Now, if you are in this corner, um, your job is pretty much going to be to uh, lock down the tape, uh, unless you have someone in front of you. If they, you have someone in front of you that can look into the or look at the tape. That's really the only guy that's going to be able to stop that other player from moving down the snake side. So even if there is someone in the center, if that person in the snake is staying low, then you're not going to have to worry about those inside shots uh, if you are that snake player, that is. Yeah, I got you. Uh, but this was great communication. Um, this was something that he wanted me to take over the tape and didn't switch until I confirmed that I had it. Uh, that's something that you, you guys should, should definitely be uh, taking advantage of with your own teammates. Um, so this was... Uh, I'm trying to think and remember what point it was. <laughs> uh, regardless, when you're in the snake, you do have some moves on the inside. Now with hey, he's got tape. with Listen, the he tape. uh with the center guy that brick is going to be able to stop those inside moves like uh, brian smith was out here from damage uh jumping in a little bit and there was some stuff that he was doing where he would go on the inside of the snake and then hop over the beam so that way the guy down the tape wouldn't be able to see him move there uh so that is a good move but if there's a center you're, you're gonna you're gonna get shot like that's gonna be real tough so it's not something that i would recommend hey, 200 doing China snake. Oh, actually, this is the point that I think I only had two pods. It was like our last point of the day, and yeah, I don't recommend going and playing a back spot <laughs> with only two pods, just because it's like, okay, cool, I only have a hopper now. So all I'm trying to say is, hey, this guy's looking this way. It might open up another move, uh, trying to call out teammate, uh, teammate names. Now, this is a shot I didn't realize was actually there. So 
you can get shot and you should be able to do the same thing back but that dorito corner that back dorito corner has a shot that goes all the way to the uh the inside here of this snake corner and that's actually what shoots me here in a second so i want you guys to know about that because it's one it's just a, a good shot so this is a shot dropping into that Dorito. If you don't do it quick enough, you're gonna miss the guy. And it's something that you really should practice. Getting up to the center is super deadly though. It's something that you need to uh, make sure that you are, um, that yeah, you have it all, all uh, dialed in. Now the reason why I'm talking here is because that guy saw me. Um, if it wasn't for that, I probably wouldn't be talking a lot just because I don't want it to be that uh, that he knows that I'm there. Now, you're going to see another mistake. See, I, I try to show you my, my bad stuff, too. Um, I thought that I could wrap and just got shot real stupid by the uh, the snake corner. So I'm sorry, the Dorito corner. So just make sure that you're looking out for those kinds of uh, those kinds of things that happen. Uh, this is another one where I get shot, actually. So I, I, I promised you guys I'm going to show you some of the bad stuff, too. So what happens here in a second, uh, because I was looking on the inside, there was someone that was shooting the outside of the field, or sorry, my, my outside of my bunker. So I was trying to see, is there a way that I can move up into this next bunker, but just go on the inside of the field? What happened was I went to look inside, and the, uh, the brick, that center brick, does have a shot dropping into that player. Uh, going around and into this Dorito wasn't super difficult. There are some shots that can that can do that, but it's it's not going to be something that's going to be like un undoable. Um, uh, so yeah, just just keep keep an eye out for any of those shots. If you have to stop in the Dorito corner, it's not the end of the world. Uh, but just know that that's there. Now there is a little bit of a shot into the snake corner from there. And uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, this, this point is definitely going to be boring. So I'm going to try to at least make it interesting and, and talk about some of the stuff that I was doing, uh, trying to help out. It, it was just kind of a, a lockdown point. I couldn't move because there was a center brick. Uh, he would shoot me if I tried to fill out. There was also uh, two on the Dorito side that would be able to see that move. So I can't really do anything. All I'm doing is just communicating. Um, I'm just trying to talk with, uh, Charlie was next to me. Um, so yeah, then also there was a snake too. So it was something that I probably didn't have to, to look that way. And you heard what Charlie did there. He repeated what I, what I had said. That helps me know that he did hear me. There is a shot that drops into that snake one. I don't know if he was I'm just getting sure on the outside of it or what. Um, but yeah, it's it's uh, it's a good shot. So just be mindful of that if you are going into the snake. Right, but that, remember, me, this guy has the same shot back at me, it so I have close. to be careful. Um, yeah, all I'm trying to do here, actually, I tried to bounce it off of the Dorito. That one doesn't work. Uh, there was a bounce shot. I'm trying to remember where it was at. Um, 400. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it on here, but, hey, China, uh, on me. but yeah, so on me. all I'm trying to do is just, Hey, this guy's doing this. I'm here. This guy's shooting at me. This guy's doing whatever. Um, it just ended up not being a very entertaining hey, point, build. but I'm just trying to dig in and just try to, uh, try to stay alive. I mean, I can still shoot paint. I can still, you know, drop in some paint in there, make it where the snake has a hard a hard time hey, make it where the center build. has a hard time the thing with the center that's difficult is that they can stand up over the top of that brick right, or they can crawl on this in this case it's uh, there's a, a snake beam connecting a, a stand-up wing and that brick so you can actually crawl back and forth if you play the center I'd recommend doing stuff like that if you can just because it's gonna it's gonna mess with the other team's brain make sure that your teammates know what it is that you're that you're doing uh, or make sure at least that they're able to see you and that way you can make sure all the zones are covered all i was trying to do here is just drop in that shot and just get something because that center brick was moving back and forth i probably could have tried to push a little bit more the issue is that this can me trying to get up to that can is going to be difficult um once i'm there it's going to it's just going to be bad because I'm going to have to just push up against it or dive over into that big wing and same thing, just push up against it. Now, the, the advantage is that I would be able to uh, draw some more some more guns, but 
but yeah, yeah. Um, what I was calling uh, hey, rocket, we were calling tape. rocket that Dorito that was uh, further up yeah, the I field. China's on me too. The uh, the guy actually backed yep, yep. straight out, so I couldn't see him. It's not a bad trick. It's something yeah, that I've talked about me. before. Uh, it just isn't fun when someone does it to you. So uh, they had called him out. I should have just trusted that. Uh, it, it might be doubled. It yeah. Might it. Um, yeah, because someone was saying the reason I was saying it might be doubled. I, I know I'm kind of jumping around, but the reason I was saying that is that Kyle on the snake side was saying that hey, this brick is looking at me, and I said there's no way because he's shooting at me. He was just flipping back and forth quickly. Hey, can, you, can you see that rocket or no? No? But yeah, it's, I, I hate points like this because it's just, I'm just dug into my, my bunker. I mean, there's really nothing that you can do. So something that we had noticed is that hey, I got on the tape. Dorito side, unless you get this side clear, you're, you're kind of more of a, a lockdown. You can push the snake hard, you can kind of bait people in the center uh, to, to go into moves, but it's it's not the side that you're necessarily going to blow open points. Now it can happen, uh, absolutely it can happen, but if you have someone in the center that's looking that way at the, Dor um, yeah, the Dorito side, it's gonna be really difficult for that guy to be able to move up the field and stay alive and actually be useful. So. It's one of those things that I personally would say put a couple more bodies on the snake side. This is something that we had kind of come up with. And this was only after two days of playing on this layout. Yeah. Who knows what would have happened if we had another day. Uh, we could have figured out something else. But it seems like having a little bit more pressure on the snake side and then uh, that Dorito side can launch if you can and get those rocket. kills off the break. But hey, snake one. it's, it's going to be... It's going to be hard to um, to win from that Dorito side. Uh, this guy in this Dorito was just was just kind of playing with me, kind of toying, honestly, because he was looking back and forth. And um, I got the on the deep now, what we should have done, uh, and Charlie did a great job there, because he was just saying like, "Hey, I have this on this side." Um, all of that is, is always going to be helpful for your teammates, just so that people know that zones are covered. That's really important. Uh, what happens later on is actually um, I, hey, hey, I get run Mexico. down. Caution I get Mexico. run down, and uh, it's because some people, we, 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 didn't, we didn't see uh, or we didn't have our zones covered. So I was, I was rapping, and all of a sudden there's a, a guy running me down because someone wasn't watching that gap. Um, so stuff like that happens, but eventually we do get, uh, it's coming up, don't worry. <laughs> this point's almost over. I understand that it's a longer point, but see right, right then is when now I can wrap. I can actually start getting to work. I'm trying to make sure that I don't want to just get up and run and get shot. Uh, so that's why I was checking where's the center. Charlie actually got way up close to me, and we both ran to that can together. Um, and then it just ended up being uh, just the back left. So he tried to tried his best. I mean, I think it was a three on one, four on one, something like that. So it was going to be really difficult for him to uh, survive that. So again, this shot is doable. It's just, you, you're gonna have to practice it. Um, but this move is, is super easy. I never had issues going up. Um, now this is where you can get real sneaky. So this is, uh, even if that snake corner shoots up over the top of that cake, I was able to get low and, and the paint went over me. And I, was, I did this twice uh, actually, where I, I shot that guy going into the snake, thinking he thought that he had the snake move down and uh, it actually works at this little cake is there because I just got real low and he thought that he was safe um, so yeah so I ended up shooting out that player I'm just listening to what my my teammates are saying um, now the reason I switch is because we were calling that can the, the 300 I you see how good of a gap that is no bingo um, bingo the four I was trying to have Kyle, my my teammates let me get that shot. Basically, uh, let me let me bait the guy um, uh, into into going. So what I'm going to do here is actually go ahead. I heard Rick was there. I should have run faster here. Uh, I, I went a little slower than I should have, but so be it. Things happen. 
and uh, that's just how that one actually went and uh, and broke down. The reason why I'm going to go and do that is if I can break open and make it harder for other people to get up the field. Uh, I'm sorry, easier for my teammates to get up the field, not harder. Then I'm going to go ahead and do that. That move going from that little wing up is going to be is going to be great. Um, so I was just trying to, again, just trying to talk, and it actually worked out because I was able to go and uh, shoot the um, that can. I think they did get into Snake, if I remember correctly. I'm saying it just because, I mean, we need to capitalize on it. It's tough to say when it's right to talk and not right to talk. Uh, I guess just kind of feel it. But yeah, once they filled it, I was like, all right, I'll do the same thing. Someone had shot him going in. I shot him in the foot afterwards. <laughs> um, so we had that kill two. I should have I should have been saying kill two or kill three, whatever it was at this point. And then I, I wasn't 100% sure of where that snake was. Um, well, I'm sorry, because he moved. Uh, so I guess at this point, I, I, I knew that he was in the snake at one point, but just hadn't, hadn't. Uh, figured out where he had Pass gone to. Snake, Kyle. No, I think he moved. I think he moved. I'm not sure. Yeah, so I think I eliminate this uh, snake corner. Hey, snake corner! Oh, no, I don't. Never mind. Um, that might have been a different point. But yeah, I, I'm, I'm slow playing it a little bit just because I don't want to go and get shot you know, shot kind of stupid, essentially. And, uh, yeah. Uh, so we were able to get this kill off the break. This is that one that I was talking about where uh, we did drop the ball on just knowing where our zones were at. Um, I was trying to see if I could drop in a shot. It's going to be a little bit higher. I think this shot is possible to shoot the, uh, the Dorito corner. But it's one of those things... Uh, it's one of those things that's going to be a little bit kind of threading the needle. All right, 200. 200. Um, 200. Hey, once Terry, once we had someone up there, I probably should have hey, made this alert. move sooner. Um, hey, 200. 200. Yeah, sorry, I went a little bit quiet, just kind of hey, listening. Um, so this is another one of those ones that I'm right. apologize. There's only two real long points. This is the other one. Hey, what's in the center? So what we're trying to do is just trying to break down and figure out, all right, where is everyone? Where are these bodies at? Let's let's go ahead right, and uh, right. you know see Boom. see what we can do. Looking at this now, oh no, it wouldn't it wouldn't bounce right. Never mind. I was thinking maybe you could Boom. bounce it off that stand up wing and bounce it into the brick, but because it's further back, it's not gonna hey, you're this way, not right? gonna be ideal. So. Hey, three hundred. I should have called. Uh, yeah, home there we go. I, I wasn't sure exactly where he went, so I was just saying the home yeah. filled out because that's that's what he did. I can't see snake. So this we're just where the communication comes in of I can't see the snake. I don't know where he's at. Um, there's a good chance that with the regional stuff that we're gonna have hey, a blind layout. Uh, so we wanna basically be ready and that, that kind of communication is gonna happen. Like, hey, I can't see this guy, I can't do this, uh, you know, whatever. If you saw the, the video of um, uh, You said Rocket three hundred? Uh, oh my gosh, who was it? JJ. Um, or LJ, not JJ. JJ is my nephew. Uh, LJ Woodley, and he was talking to Billy Bernacci and saying like, "Hey, I'm gonna put this Boston in. I'm gonna and Boston's one of their codes. Uh, and then you're gonna go. It's like, all right, you ready? And then he shoots at it and ends up shooting the guy. But that kind of communication is super important. Like, hey, I'm gonna put this guy in. You gotta tell me when you're ready. Hey, this guy's in. You gotta go or whatever. Um, Snake two. Snake two. So, yeah, so this is, uh, I'm kind of in the same spot again, where I can't, because of that snake, if I tried to go up, there was a guy that was further up on the Dorito side, and we should have had someone switched over. There was actually miscommunication. Someone thought that I had said no, you know, switch over or whatever. And that is not what I said, because I needed someone to stay my way to keep that guy from, from moving. Hey, snake two! 
So it probably would have been better if Charlie had switched over. And we, I think we had talked about that afterwards, where if we had our center guy looking over at the Dorito way. Now, what I was trying to do there was actually drop a, a shot into the snake corner. I'm pretty sure that that works. Um, it's just that if they're really hugging the outside of the bunker, then you're you're not gonna you're not gonna shoot hey, them. Snake tears on me. Now, Jose, this kind of stuff of me? hey, this guy's this guy's looking at me. This guy's doing this, whatever. No, isn't it three? Uh, that's going to okay. help out your team because then they can know, oh, well, now I can move because this guy isn't looking at me anymore or, you know, whatever the case may be. I don't know. I can't see down tape. So what I'm going to try to do here, and I was, I was trusting that someone was watching that gap, was I was trying to wrap the, uh, this Dorito because the way that the Dorito side works on this layout Unless you're out wide on the tape, this Dorito, yeah, you can't shoot down the tape. Um, so it ends up, <clears throat> they actually have a great communication here uh, because I, I wrap and that's when the guy launched. Um, so I'm going to wrap here in a second, which this move isn't a bad move. It's just you really need to make sure that someone is watching over. And uh, I think the snake just said like, hey, he's looking at me. And uh, this guy ran me down because we didn't have someone looking that way. So just as a, a heads up, if you play Dorito, um, that's the good and the bad that you can do there. So this is when I had some, uh, some more paint. <laughs> uh, so like I had said, this, this guy in the corner and also in the snake are going to be the ones that are uh, stopping the snake from moving down. That center brick, <clears throat> like I had showed you, is going to be the one that's going to be stopping you. Um, now, what I should have done here was I should have stood up over the top. This was really stupid of me. Um, if I stood up over the top, I actually could have helped with uh, with Dustin's mirror here. Uh, he was able to put that guy in and go, but I, I could have helped him with that a lot sooner. Um, so this this snake corner can stand up and drop in shots into that, that cake. Um, into that center, into that center there, we, uh, I was just trying to drop in paint. Um, I think I had a broken ball inside, or just like a little bit oily or something. That's why it was shooting a little bit squirrely. <laughs> it straightened out fine afterwards. So I think it might've just been, maybe there was some oil in a pot or something. I don't know. Um, but there, someone had said that there is a bounce shot off that cake. I didn't try it, but I guess it's, it's worth it. Um, to uh to try it there China. so it just ended up that uh i didn't need to because i think dustin went down and was able Charlie, to uh <clears throat> was able to go China. to work there so yeah uh so this is pretty much the the I end of the point the yeah that's the end of the point there all right so for this one Again, I, I was playing a lot more of the center here. Um, I've lately been playing a lot more center for the Kings. Uh, so this center move is super easy to get up there. I mean, obviously watch out for drop shots over the top, all of that. But this, this move here and just waiting, especially if you know that they have a snake corner, just wait for the guy and you'll get him. I mean, it's it's. I, I was able to do it two times. Um, now, what I did here that was the mistake is I was definitely out a little bit wider than I should have. And I was, I got lucky. I'm just gonna say it. And uh, if you're watching, I'm so sorry I forgot your name right now. Um, uh, but yeah, I, I, I forgot your name, so I apologize. But uh, he tried to come out and shoot me here. I was uh, uh, trying to, to uh, I think, wrap. Yeah, see, he tried to come out and I, I was able to get out of the way of it. Um, which, that was really stupid of me. I should have stayed tucked in. So. Uh, Kyle and I were just talking here and just trying to communicate and he ended up coming up to that wing which that's not a bad a bad thing to do is to have both those guys there because now they can't they can't come through they can't uh, if they try to come and bunker me uh, Kyle's gonna shoot them if someone tried to come and bunker Kyle I'm gonna shoot him so that cross is is pretty solid to uh, to do there uh, this is where I think I shoot the, the snake corner yeah so uh, now this move, oh, this one was fine because I was able to shoot that Dorito there. 
Um, but this one, I don't know why I decided to just take off. Um, so I did take a bounce here, and I, I don't know if I shot him at the end or not, but uh, we were able to close out the point there. Um, but thank you so much, guys. I know it's been so long since I've done one of these playing critiques. Uh, you guys know that they help me just as much as I hope they help you, uh, just because it's good to go back and, uh, and look at that stuff that I had done. Uh, so thank you again to PunishersPB.com for sponsoring this video. Please again support those that support the channel and check them out. They have a whole bunch of crazy deals, uh, so you can go over there and, uh, and check all that out. So I will see you guys in the next video, but as always, remember, watch, learn, win. Thanks.